kind of major things they have how they can enforce their existence within a society how they can enforce an individual to follow these rules i mean how and what kind of ability they have what kind of a keys they have how they maintain the social order how they convey the message to the society that every individual need to do this and not to do this there is a question or not hamza there is a question but uh when we be like like don't these social agencies have some like power from the government or something yes look agencies basically works in a two way either to give yeah some kind of rewards like some kind of a lalach or some kind of a saza means some kind of a punishment they have just two options if someone who will work in the yeah. favor of the society mean if he is doing some kind of a uh, rule like what to do if someone working on that he will get a reward if a person is working on the rules that what not to do but still he is he or she is doing they will get punishment because of their actions so what social institution do do they work on basically two different criteria either to give rewards to the society either to gives punishment and if you are working like in somewhere in an organization if do, if you do well you will get reward you will get a reward but there will be some kind of uh, rules and regulations that will depict that that will allow the organization to give rewards to the hamza because of their performance and if if you are not yeah. doing well you have the organization will fire you but again there will be a particular kind of rules and regulations who are working behind yeah. your firing but if we talk about hmm. informal if your mother is giving you some kind of a reward because of your good behavior she won't see that is there any kind of rules who are we, or we make in uh, just to run our family no if she is going to punish you she won't see any kind of a rules or regulations when you are working or when you are living in a society there are some forces basically which imposed some kind of forces they may give you some kind of a reward and sometimes they give you some kind of a punishment the punishment will give those forces who have enough power like a police like a army forces they will utilize their power and they will ask you don't go for this if you go for this they will punish you because they are the most powerful institution in the society the reward in your course of content hamza this is known as positive sanction and the punishment in your course this is known as negative sanctions so every activities of yours is linked with the permissions given by your institution who are working in your society so you are nothing but you are a scripted man you can't do according to your will you have been shaped by basically what you have been shaped by a, your institution who are working in your society is that so or not hamza yeah okay so we are basically discussing about the social order that comes into the structuralism what structuralism said mm. structuralism said the human is nothing but shaped by particular institution who are working in 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 or in his or her society so if you did well or if you are doing well you will get reward it is known as positive sanctions and if you are not doing well you will be punished and this is known as 
negative sanction. If you have any... Yeah.